Well, it's Sam and Joyce. We just got back from Biloxi. We had a lot of chicken left over. So right there and waste it. And our bait freezer's full. We decided to go set our crab traps. Smelly just, chicken, too. Huh? Yeah, smelly chicken. Yeah, it should have been thrown away, maybe. We're going to see how it works. So we'll get back to you when we're baiting the traps up and setting them. We're in the Indian River Lagoon area. And a nice day. No, it's a nice day. It's always a nice day out here, isn't it? Uh, yes. Even yeah. if it's cold, it's nice. And That's even right. if it's super rough, it's still nice. Yeah, after you get in. Right. So we got some chicken left over from Biloxi. So Joyce, wearing gloves today. I told her, you better bring gloves with you. We got some smelly chicken. So we figured, yeah, we figured we'd use it up. We, yeah, we had a little extra chicken. So we'll see how that smelly chicken works. He didn't remind me to bring the gloves. I would have said, the heck with this, you do it. Yeah. <laughs> then the rest of them we're going to bait up with uh, uh, shad heads and the bellies. Nice shad. Shad yeah. heads. And bellies. That yeah, belly meat should be good. Yeah. Okay, Joyce, let's put the first one right here. All right, we'll try it here. Are you done? <laughs> yes. Okay, set the one, set the yellow one right here. Let's put the red one here. Let's put some of that smelly chicken oh, here. Huh? You need a gas mask. <laughs> some people say it works great when it's thin. We'll I, see. Well, I always like fresh bait. Well, let's do some more smelly chicken. So we got shad there. So we'll put that out now. That's shad, right? Shad and uh, that um, crappy. Uh, a crappy and a shad. Crappy, fresh water. Yeah. Fish. Okay. Throw that out there. Well, we got the traps all set. We'll probably leave it there for probably t at least two days, maybe longer if the weather gets bad like it always does. Well, it was predicted. It Wasn't days. it predicted? We're supposed to have rain for. The whole yeah, time was, we would come we, home? We're not getting rain. It's supposed to be raining now. It's not raining. No. So anyway, you can't go by the weather forecast. So we're going to leave them set for two days, hopefully. That's enough. So we'll get back to you when we're pulling them. What you got there? You got white pelicans. They come around this time of year. They're all hanging out together. And there's the camarots, they eat all the fish. All these, all these humps here in the area, you see humps, look like rocks, they're all manatees. And you got a ton of people here. Look, taking pictures of them, playing with them. They're on this side. Well, our trap's been setting for two days, so we're going to hook the boat up and take it over to the coast and pull our traps, and we'll get back to you while we're pulling them. Well, we're coming up on our first trap. It's a pretty nice day today, just a little bit of wind. About 10 mile an hour. You feel them, Joyce? I think so. Feel something in there. Come on. I see one. Two. two. Two crabs. Well, they didn't come in here yet, did they? No. But they're, they're all in Mississippi. Yeah, but they're two nice ones. Yeah, it's, at least it's two crabs. Yeah. Still a lot of uh, bait left in there. Well, yeah. Nothing to eat them up. Not no. enough crabs. 
It's not, the water's not that warm yet. No. Well. There's our second trap. One. One. One crab. One crab better than none. That, yeah, that's true. That's <laughs> chicken, isn't it? That's chicken. That's that rotten chicken. There that's that know. rotten chicken, yeah. Well, that should be good. And shrimp. Rotten shrimp. Oh, okay. Rotten shrimp and an old shrimp. Hey, somebody ate nothing. No, no they didn't move in here again. We were hoping these crabs moved back in here because there's some these nice, nice ones size ones, here. though. It, yeah, they're not giant, but it's good size, not little crabs. We don't have to throw them back. No. We're right, coming up on our third trap. Hope this one does a little better than the other two. Water's not real salty. Well, this water's not real salty. That's why we get all the males here. Two, I see two. You see three. two? Uh, three. We got three? Yeah. Three crabs. All right, it's picking up. We still got a few traps. That to was go. with the chicken. Chicken again. Yep. So that did chicken. There's, oh, look at that yellow guy in there. There's a yellow one in there. That's what we want some yellow ones. A lot of grass. Well, we're coming up on our fourth trap. You'll get it. I'll get you real close. Let's see anything in there? I don't see anything. One. Oh, yeah, one, two. Oh, there's two in there? Yeah, two crabs. Oh, yeah, there's one up there. Trying to get out. Yeah. All right. So we're averaging about two crabs. Ha-ha. <laughs> it's lit <literally laughs> right, right out of there. Well, we're coming up on our fifth trap. I think it's that heavy red one. I think so, too. Yeah, one of these days I'll change that rebar. Oh, it is. Oh, I see. I see somebody in it. I see one. Yeah. I see one. On the I see side. two. I see a nice one there. Yeah. I see a big one. I like to see that first. Oh, there's what three. Three nice. Look at that. Look how nice. Three? Look how yellow that guy is. Yeah, that's a nice yellow. One. Release yourself so I can get you out of there. Yeah, they're nice ones. Yeah. Why don't they like that guy? That's what we want. Yeah. That's what's usually here. So maybe they're just starting to come. So when the water gets cold, we usually just get smaller crabs. Wait, what would you call that crab? Trapeze? He's a trap crab, why not you? Yeah, when they're yellow. Look at him, he's getting down. Here. Look at that one man helicopter. Maybe two men. <laughs> it's different. <laughs> We're coming up on number six. We got seven traps out in Florida here, lay out of the five apiece. So we got ten. Joyce has five, and I got five, but we usually just set seven. So there's uh, enough room in the boat. See? 
One, two, I can see two. Two. Two, two crabs. Oh, there's one with eggs. We got one female with eggs. Why well, that happen? We don't get many in this area. No. Females. And that's a nice yellow one too. She got to go back. Well, in Florida, you're allowed to keep females, but not females with eggs. So this one has uh, obviously eggs. So we're gonna let this one go. We don't catch many females in this particular area. Well, we're coming up on number seven, it's our last trap, last hope. But don't look good. Oh, I see. I see one, uh, three, maybe I think four. You, yes. Ah. They're down this way. Uh, of course, we went the wrong <laughs> look, way. Look, trying to get out. Look. We'll try. give it a couple of weeks and try here again. We'll set down this way. That's a big one there. Yeah. That's a little yeah. one. Look how little that was. That one will let go. Yeah, that was uh, shad. Yeah, that was a shad, shad yeah. heads. Shad heads and a and a grunt. Favorite fish. Oh, that's got the turtle excluders that I made. Yeah, I know. I think they work better. They might work better, yeah. They're holding up good, too. I just yeah. use some galvanized, nine gauge galvanized wire. I keep thinking we, we took so a trap. If you want to make your own, you just bend some nine gauge wire. So you got an opening of uh, two inches by uh, uh, six inches. Well, this guy's going back. There's no size limit in Florida, but we don't keep these the little ones. So he's going back. Well, we didn't do so great today. We got like, it looks like 15 crabs in there. So hopefully it's going to pick up a little bit. So we'll get back to you when we're back at the house cooking these crabs up. Look at you how dirty you are. Yeah, I know. When well, uh, you wear old clothes. You wear old clothes crabbing when you're pulling. Look at my yeah. shirt. It was clean when I came out here. Yeah, look Jeans at you. were clean. You're a mess. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's your good shirt, too. It was a long time ago. At one time, it was a good yeah. shirt. <laughs> Not no more. It's a crabbing shirt. So George, it looks like we're having a crab boil tonight. Something with different. With these crabs, we're gonna cook them whole. Cook them whole. And this is Zatarams crab boil. No MSG, no salt, nothing in it. Uh, I've used this before. And of course, I thought you were supposed to break open the bag and one of the videos, all the stuff went flying. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> yeah, it was a big mess. But didn't what read the instructions, right? No, I didn't read the no. instructions. But you're supposed to put this whole bag in, uh, it says here, four quarts, three quarts of water. So the water's in there, and you throw this in, in the pot. The water's already boiling. Yeah, already goes. boiling. And you add a lemon, quartered, a whole lemon, quartered. And you throw that in there. Ooh, it smells good. I can smell it already. bag's got little holes in it. So oh, that's how it works. Yeah. Okay. You can see it starting to turn. I get a little, get some of the spices out of there. Then it also says to put four tablespoons of salt. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. no. 
We're old. We can't have much salt. <laughs> so I'm going to use the tablespoon, which is probably about right. And then it says use cayenne pepper uh, to your desire. Well, I've had bad experience with that stuff, so I yeah. just use a quarter teaspoon. I figure that I hope it's not too much. We're we'll just, see. It'll be all right. We'll see. But there's a tablespoon of salt. Uh -oh. Hey, look at that. It looks like it's going to blow up, huh? Yeah. Uh, it's probably going to be red hot, but we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, it'll be alright. And then this is for shrimp. But if you just three quarts is supposed to cook uh, four pounds of shrimp, but we're not doing shrimp. We're doing the crabs, and it says for a dozen crabs, use the three quarts of water. And we got fifteen crabs, so that's, that's good. Yeah, be good. And then you let it boil for five minutes. Then you shut everything down and let it soak for fifteen minutes. So I've never done them this way before. Oh, so you're going to follow those instructions? You never use instructions. Ins I know I don't What are you trying to do? I'm going to do it this time instead of throwing the spices <laughs> all over the Just guessing everything. Huh? <laughs> right. Okay, so now we're ready to put the crabs in there. Look how it's starting to get red in there. Yeah. That means it's red hot. I guess that I'm afraid of. Yeah. <sighs> no. Well, you put the vinegar in last, huh? Right. It says two tablespoons of vinegar. I usually use more than that, but we're just going to follow the recipe this time. Then. This is in the recipe, but I'm going to put it in, put it in there. So what do you got? You got Brussels, Brussels sprouts. sprouts. You're going to get a lot of thumbs down. And this is down the Cajun uh, andouille, I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah. The sausage, some corn. A regular nice crab boil. The lid back on, wait till it boils again. We'll time it for five minutes, like it says, and let everything soak. I don't know if I trust that, but. I think the so vegetables be cooked? Vegetables, yeah, they'll be cooked. Mm -hmm. You don't want them overcooked anyway. That's right. So Sounds put, good. Put that on, wait till it boils again, and set for five minutes, and then we uh, turn everything off and let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes in the water. Five minutes is up. It's been a That's a boil. royal rolling boil, isn't it? Uh huh. <laughs> wow. They look good. Yeah, they do. Then we got to shut everything off. Smells good. Shut it off, huh? Shut it off. I just put that. Oh, yeah. I, so, so we're going to leave it set for 15 minutes, you said. Right. Put the lid back on. Set it for 15 minutes. 15 minutes is up. Ooh, everything looks good. Yep, everything looks good. Looks real good. Everybody's favorite. A lot of people like Brussels They're sprouts. We, we found it out. Oh, that's a nice crab. That's a big one. Yeah. Big ones, they'll start moving in there. We call them in there in the fall, so they'll start moving in there now. Water's still a little cold. Yeah, the water so I wouldn't want to go swimming in them. It's too chilly. Yeah. Now, as soon as it warms up a little bit. The Guys. big ones are on the bottom. Yeah, look at that. That's a, that, that thing is heavy. There's another one. Well, our crab boil looks good, Joey. It looks tasty. And the vegetables look good. They look good. So see how hot this stuff is. It's, here. Try that claw. A lot of meat. Joyce, Joyce likes the claws. Come out there really nice. Yeah. Good. Good. Not too hot, right? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's good. And not too salty either. I didn't either. think it would be. Different, yeah. different flavor. Than the old bay or Tony Zachary's, and just totally different. It's good. 
Well, we'll keep trying different spices. Right. As long as it doesn't have MSG in it. Yeah. Well, if you enjoy our videos, we'd appreciate a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And thanks a lot for watching. You're going to eat a Brussels sprout? Yeah. Probably it's hot. Is it mm -hmm. hot? Yeah. <laughs> no, hot, hot. Like, like cooking hot. No, not cooking hot. Oh, it's hot with this spice. Okay. Wow. A cayenne pepper goes. You don't need all of that.